everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every week. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. And we are now entering the exciting part of the NFL season, which is the playoffs. And we're going to take a look at the matchups for this week. And But before we do so, I want to remind you to join so you can have access to the Z-Code VIP Club sections, where you'll have all these great tools to help you make your picks. So let's get started here. We're going to go through every game for this weekend. Scroll down through. We see the Indianapolis Colts and the Buffalo Bills. The Colts come into play with an 11-5 regular season record, and the Bills won the AFC East with a 12-3 mark. You see the Bills are a 1.31 to 3.46 favorite, which is a point spread of 6.5 in favor of the Bills, with an over-under of 52.5. You see the Bills right now are burning hot at the moment compared to average up for the Colts. If we take a look at some of the other information we have here, if we want to look at the power ranking indicator, you see here that the Colts are at plus 30 and Buffalo here is at plus 20. Excuse me, it's the other way around. Buffalo is at plus 30 and the Colts here at plus 20. As you see, the Colts are on a downward trend. They were at plus 29 back on December the 27th. If considering the over and under in this one, you can see the Colts are trending in games over the line. Buffalo is trending over the line as well. So it's a good idea to bet the over on this one. You want to see how stable the two teams have been. How well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? You see that both teams are very stable at plus 8 for the Colts and plus 7 for the Bills. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. The two teams have not met in the regular season since 2018. So that is really... Nothing to consider about this one. So if we're going to take a look at the lines here, I want to take a look at how the line has moved. Let's go down here. The money line, you can see, uh, opened at 1.31, and nothing has happened. It is still at 1.31. In the end, I think that the Bills are definitely the better team. I believe they're playing home that they will win the game. It would not surprise me, though, if the Colts cover the spread, but the Bills will win the game. The Rams and the Seahawks. The Seahawks entered the playoffs on a four-game winning streak and were 12-4 and during the regular season. The Rams were second in the NFC West at 10-6. and And if you look here, the Rams are average at the moment. Status and Seattle is burning hot. Seattle is at 1.45. To 2.782 favorite, which is a line of minus 4.5, with a low over under total of 42.5. You consider the head to head matchups for the season, you can see that the two teams split the games on low scoring games, a total of 29 points for the last one and 39 points for the first one. You look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Seattle was on the upward trend at plus 28. And the Rams on the downward trend, they are down to plus 16. You consider the over and under on this one. You can see that the Rams are playing in games trending well under the line. Seattle playing in games trending well under the line as well. So I would consider betting the under on this one, as the other two games were also under. Look at the stability, how stable are the two teams right now. If you take a look at this. The Rams are not quite as stable at plus two, just moderately stable. So take it with a grain of salt a little bit with the over under, excuse me, the favorite underdog status on this one. But Seattle is at plus six. They are much more stable. Let's take a look at the money line. As it moved it all, we can see that the line started at 1.461. And it has moved pretty considerably if you look at that from 1.46 to 1.45. So, I mean, Seattle is even a bigger favorite than they were before. I kind of agree with what the line is telling us. I think that Seattle will win the game. And I don't think really they will really have much trouble with this one. I think they will win this game and cover, perhaps even winning by double digits. Tampa Bay and Washington. Well, Washington won the lowly NFC East with just a 7-9 record after beating the Eagles 20-14 to in a game in which the Eagles... Played their backups pretty much the whole game and, to be honest, pretty much gave up in the fourth quarter. It looks like they didn't even care to win that game. But Tampa Bay will enter this game as a big favorite in this one, 1 1.26 to 3.94, which translates to an 8.5 uh, point spread forecast with a total over-under points of 45.5. 
You see that Tampa Bay right now is burning hot. They were 11-5 during the regular season and won their last four. And Washington right now is average up. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. Tampa Bay is at plus 22 and Washington is all the way down here to plus 3. So a huge advantage for Tampa Bay. If you're considering the over and under in this one, Tampa Bay is playing in games trending slightly over the line, as you can see here, at plus two points. Washington is in uh, slightly over the line as well. So if you're going to bet the over under, or betting the over is probably a good play. If you look at how stable the two teams have been, you can see here that uh, Tampa Bay is much more stable at plus nine compared to plus four. They are very consistent with their, their, their favorite underdog status. And they are a big favorite in this one. Even though uh, Washington's at home, I really don't see much of a chance for Washington in this one to keep up with Tom Brady and the Bucks. I think Tampa Bay will win this one, cover the spread, and win by double digits. We can look at, this, at the money line real quick just to show what's happening. But as you can see here, it opened at 1.3. It's now at 1.26. So clearly that uh, Tampa Bay is the big fair and still is, and they will win the game handily. Okay, Baltimore and Tennessee. The Ravens are burning hot. The Titans are average up. Both teams finished with the records of 11 and 5 during the regular season. You can see that the Ravens have a 1.55 to 2.468 favorite, which comes out to a line of minus 3.5 and a high over under total of 54.5. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see that Baltimore now is above Tennessee, whereas Tennessee was above them for quite some time, but now Baltimore is at 27 compared to 23. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. The teams did play back on November the 22nd with Tennessee winning the game 30-24, to and then, of course, they won last year's meeting in the playoffs by a 28-12 to margin. Look at the totals predictor. Over for the Ravens. And over for the Titans. So expect a high scoring game. Bet the over. It will be an exciting matchup. Want to see how stable the two teams have been? You see the Ravens are at plus seven, Titans at plus five. So both teams have been pretty stable, pretty much consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. The Ravens will avenge last year's loss and take down the Titans by a touchdown or more. The Bears and the Saints. The Bears limped into the playoffs with a loss and an 8-8 eight and eight overall record. You can see they are averaged down at the moment. While the Saints were 12-4 and four during the regular season, winning the NFC West. You can see they are burning hot with a favorite of 1.21 to 4.42. This is a big line. It's a big line of minus 9.5 with an over-under of 48.5. The power rankings indicator shows also that the Saints are at plus 25 compared to plus 19 for the Bears. Looking at the tallest predictor, you can see after trending under the line for you know, a wide part of the season, now the Bears are trending over the line by plus 2, and the Saints are trending under right now. I would consider not betting the over-under in this one because of the discrepancy right there. Look at how stable the two teams have been. You can see, again, as most teams are in the playoffs, both teams are stable at plus 8 to plus 6. So they are performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line. See if it's changed since it opened. It opened at 1.21. This is the money line for the Saints. You can see it did uh, move to 1.23. It's back up to 1.21. So it's pretty much the same. They're still a very strong favorite, same as when they opened. Again, it's a very high line. You might be tempted to bet the Bears, but I really don't think that's going to happen. I don't think the Bears have enough to cover. New Orleans is tough at home. They will win by a couple of touchdowns. Now a battle in the NFC, or excuse me, the AFC North, the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers are ice cold down at the moment. The Browns are average up. The Steelers uh, were 12-4 and four during the regular season. The Browns were 11-5. and five. But the Steelers have a 1.41 to 2.975 favorite, which comes out to a line of minus 6.5 with an over-under total of 46.5. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that Pittsburgh is at plus 26. 
Cleveland is at plus 21, so you see a little bit of an advantage there. If you're considering the over and under, Pittsburgh playing in games trending under the line, as is Cleveland, as you can see, both uh, black lines are below the blue. So that is a very strong indication to bet the under on this one. As far as who's going to win the game, I really believe that it's a Steelers game to win. They haven't been playing their best ball, but they have a big advantage in playoff experience and are at home. I look for them to come back, win, and cover the spread. So there you have all the picks, but before we leave, I want to mention about Z Code System giving back to sports donations to help the youth soccer club. So you can see here, you can go to this link and you can read all about it. You can actually even go to the video here and see how Z Code is giving back. It's a great program, it's a great cause. And you can see all the kids here playing soccer and here playing basketball as well. So it's a truly wonderful program and it's really helping kids in all local communities. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the week for the NFL Wild Card Weekend. Enjoy the games. Happy betting and we will see you next time.